Let's start with a general overview of how a new medical device is designed. A regulatory affairs specialist will be involved in most of these steps. Prior to starting the development of a new medical device, there is often research done to investigate a technology and the feasibility of the device. This is the best time for a regulatory specialist to become involved with a new product design effort. From the initial understanding of the research, the user needs of a product are defined and a plan of development is documented. At this stage, the countries that the device will be used in, and also any claims that will be used to market the device, should be defined. Design inputs are documented next, capturing the physical and performance requirements of a device. Design inputs are used as a basis for device design. Engineers then develop the device, including its hardware, software, materials, and packaging, according to the approved design inputs. The design outputs are the result of a design effort at each design phase and at the end of the design effort. The finished design output consists of the device, its packaging, its labeling, and the device master record. Verification is completed to ensure that the device requirements have been fulfilled. The design is then transferred to production, and processes are validated to ensure that the device can be manufactured. The final device is validated to confirm that the particular requirements for the intended use can be consistently fulfilled. Validation can begin earlier in the process in some cases, but final validation of the device needs to occur using a production or production equivalent product. Design reviews are held throughout development. The number of them depends on the complexity of the design, the team, and many other factors. These reviews evaluate the adequacy of the design to meet requirements and identify problems so that they can be corrected prior to the release of the device. Risk management is a process that begins at the very beginning of the design process. Risk management continues throughout development and into the post-market phase. For products that use software, the software development life cycle is also integrated throughout the design controls process. Depending on the country and the class of the device, regulatory documentation and submissions can be completed at different times. The product launch occurs after regulatory requirements have been met. In the U.S., it is important to remember that the device cannot be offered for sale prior to meeting requirements for pre-market approval or pre-market notification. In Europe, the device cannot be placed on the market before meeting the requirements for CE marking. A design change can occur at any time during development or after the launch of a medical device. A change can affect any element within design controls, and the design control process should be followed to evaluate the change.